Welcome, Welcome back, to, back character. to character select. Oh sure, just fucking god damn it! Well, it's... you paused, so I was like, oh. Well, I was well, pushing my... the go Welcome button on my select. timer. Space, Dave. We're playing shape shifting detective. We're back. We're uh, back for a new recording session. We have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> yeah. We so the chief summarized everything for us. This is a new recording session. Um, the chief summarized everything for us, and it did jog the memory. But at right. the same time, it just kind of reminded me, at least, of how little we fucking know. <laughs> so, let's just visit Oscar and Zach. I don't think we'll get no, we're, anything else from Yeah, it. we're done. We finished the chapter at the end of the last episode. Oh, it is the next chapter? Yeah. Okay. So, we found out that, or we had, we visited Zach as Violet and Violet as Zach, and found out that they don't necessarily feel the same way about each other. Like, Violet was like, you'll were... never touch me, and Zach was like, I remember you know that they were about to do another reading. Did we find out? What, they I were think, doing I that at 8 o'clock. I think that's now. It's 8 yes, o'clock and yes. time for okay, another cool. August update. Police investigating the death of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw have said there's no evidence to connect her boyfriend to the murder. Chief DuPont's statement was delivered in response to speculation from local residents that it was a crime of passion. Miss Shaw's strangled body was found by her mother around 10 p.m. last night in what the chief is calling a puzzling crime. I can't believe people are gossiping already, Poe. It's always the person closest to the victim, isn't that what they say? 90% of the time. A reminder also that due okay? to the murder, this me? weekend's tulip festival no, has been postponed. Okay. New dates will be okay. announced soon. The weather's getting worse tonight with heavy rain forecast. So if you're heading out, you might want to take a jacket. Or a cap. Or wear the jacket in the cap. That's 8 o'clock with Poe and Monroe. That was so, weird. I found out a couple of things about this when I was just... Like, I didn't actively going, go out looking for stuff, but I put together um, I put together the thumbnails on the channel, which, I, I, if you haven't seen the thumbnail for this series, how are you watching it? And also, I hope you like it, because it was a lot of fun to put together. And I found out that you either talk to Poe and Monroe, or you talk to Poe or Monroe, and I'm not sure which it is. You'll find out. Sam. Oh, You'll what? find out. I've got news. Okay. We've done a reading. That was that quick. Was quick. Am I just like standing in the middle here? Or? Five of Swords is bad. The Five of Swords. Power at any That's cost. The same yesterday. Is it, what is this? Days of our lives, or the? <laughs> Let's hope it's not the Night of Wands. Night of Wands. Stare, meaningful stare. Good job. Good job. This doesn't look good. It's fine. Is it? This happens all the time. There are 78 cards in the deck. The same ones come up a lot. I get it. But we drew the exact same cards yesterday. What are the odds of putting all three again? One in 474,552. I think he made that. Uh, I got asked a lot. <laughs> Bet it's the Ten of Swords. And it's... The Ten of Swords. It's happening again. There's going to be another murder. Bum, bum, then Lexi bah. did her thing. And now we have a name. Ellis Monroe. Monroe? From Poe and Monroe. Okay. Interesting. Well, I guess we should go tell the chief. Sure. Sam, do me a favor. Go easy on Violet. No. If we need to get anything out of her, let me deal with it. She'll open up to me. Don't worry. She totally will. Oh. Uh, I guess nothing. we can't report it. Okay. All right. So I guess uh, let's go visit Zealous, I guess, Alice, right? Yeah. 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 Hey, I remember Oats you. the lady. You must be Sam. Hi. Wait, how do you she know? She likes who... getting wet in the rain. Do I um, have to be Sam? Because I'm not necessarily sure that I am Sam. I just got off the phone with Chief DuPont. I can't believe it. Oh, we've already Mr. told Rhoda? him. Now me. You're not gonna die. I'll stand here the whole time. It's not true. Yes. We were... friends. Mmm. I hadn't known her for long. Only a few weeks. How did you meet her? We met at the gala. I was hosting and she was playing. The cello, you know? Mm. I guess... We talked for a little oh, while and then she a asked me for a drink after the show. What happened after the show? 
After we'd had a few drinks, she invited me back to her house. They did have a... Okay. I thought we were just going to chat, watch a movie, that sort of thing. Someone has been double dipping. I was so shocked. She was so attractive. Hmm. So, I kissed her back. Interesting. So, you and Dorota were in a relationship? This is just between us, right? Totally. And all the voices in my head. Yes, yeah, just between us. We fooled around. I don't have many friends, Sam. What about Poe? Everyone thinks because I'm on the radio, I have tons of friends, so nobody ever approaches me. I get lonely. But Dorota was my friend, and I liked making her happy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Fooled, fooled, around. I fooled around is kind of an obvious question. You have no friends? Poe? And Dorota. People I say hi to. I have thousands of followers and subscribers, and they keep me feeling warm when I'm down, but they're not friends. She has a weird accent. I do accent. get the odd stalker, but that isn't something anyone wants. Did you know Dorota had a boyfriend? Oscar. Yeah. She was a bit confused. When we started seeing each other, she didn't... She didn't like him touching her anymore. I didn't mind, but she did. So I told her if he wanted to get sexual, then maybe she should try something else. Like what? I said some guys like to watch. So tell him it would be sexy if he could look, but he couldn't touch. So the voyeurism thing came from you. It worked. Huh. Okay. No, don't tell her that. Bad idea? Don't tell her okay. Really. So I gotta ask her something. So how did it well, work? Well, if she mentions the dress, then she'll know, right? So that maybe we should ask that. This one? Yeah. I think the murderer watched her in the same way. The killer was in her wardrobe? What? Well, then it had to be Oscar. He's the only one it could be. No, he's got a solid alibi. Oscar was playing football last night. That doesn't make any sense. Then she was seeing someone else? No. Someone she knew. Knew she'd be alone? A stalker? Should we no, ask that? No, never mention it by herself, yeah. Okay. Did Oscar know about you? I don't think so. We were very discreet. It was more fun that way. You don't... <laughs> You don't seem terribly broken up about the fact that the girl you were infatuated with is dead as of yesterday. I I mean, maybe that's just the, the context of the conversation, but... And then we do have Violet saying that Dorota was... Um... Taunt? The town bicycle, I guess. I'm sure that's a derogatory way of saying that, but, you know... Tell me about Poe. Well, co-host. I, I said talk. On the radio. Yes, we oh. same <laughs> Sorry. You know that already. Um, we've been partners for two years now. He's a good friend. Okay. Partners or friends? Or where do I find them? Doesn't matter. I think, I, I, red I herring? Think... Doesn't matter. Yeah. He's on air at the moment, but he'll be finished at 8.30. Okay. Where were you last night? That's a good question to ask. I'm not sure why this is the first one that we've had the option of discarding. On air. We both were. We broadcast live hourly news reports. It's how we keep our funding. Okay. So she's probably got a pretty solid alibi. Probably. I imagine that's something you can... You can record a radio. Yeah. Huh. Not very well. He's done a few shoots of me and Poe. To promote the show. What do you think? Have you had any privacy? No, if you fine. Leave it open. He keeps asking me to pose for him. Okay. You know, without any clothes on. So no private sessions. I always say no. Remember, the more open ended you leave a question, the more information somebody is going to give you. If you ask a yes or no question, somebody can reply yes or no. If you 
leave a question open, then they have to fill in the gaps themselves, especially if you don't say anything. It's just the way the human mind works. No. Sorry. I did have a strange dream last night, though. Do tell. I was a Hollywood actress, and there were hundreds of magazines and newspapers all piling up on the red carpet, and they all had my picture on the front cover. But the red carpet wasn't carpet. It was blood. It was a pool of blood, and it seeped through all the pages. Then I woke up. What do you think that means, Sam? What am I, a fucking dream interpreter? Jesus. <laughs> it means you're in a deep sleep phase. It means you're anxious about something. I don't know what. I mean, I'm anxious now. Maybe, maybe it was predicting Dorota's death. Why would it predict she, Dorota's death if it was your mine. face on it? She maybe. died before you had the dream. What do you want me to do? Just don't hurt me. Or let me get hurt. I mean, I kind of like her, but... Her pupils were like... Oh, dilated. Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! Sam? You forgot your phone. Holy shit! Oh, fuck you, Kane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you what see that? What kind of girl's name is Ellis, by the way? Uh, Welsh? Not sure. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as I said leave, it focused on the cab driver's reflection in the mirror. Oh, the rear I didn't mirror. see that. It was creepy, and that's and then the fucking noise happened, and that's what freaked me out because I was concentrating on that so hard. Um, okay, let's uh, let's go to the guest house and talk to the tarot readers. I guess there's yeah, got to be something I'm, they can I'm tell in, us about. I'd be reading. interested to go speak to Alice as Oscar. Okay. That's, that actually makes sense to me when I don't think about it. All right. I've heard on the radio, but other than that, I don't know anything about her. Okay. I want to help them. What's the connection between Ellis and Dorota? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Although we can be sure of one thing. They're both, They're both redheads? Red yeah, she sounded blonde on the radio, but Mercury called her as a redhead. Rain said you knew about rights. That is the on the radio. Bit. What did you want to know? <laughs> what is a right? A right can take many forms, but from what we know about these travelers, it seems to be performing some kind of coming of age ceremony. Coming of age? Or how do you know about travel? No, let's do coming of age. I don't really care how she knows this stuff. I want to know what she knows at the moment. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Yes, a rite of passage. A running havoc in our dimension is rewarded in theirs. Not fair, is it? Why were there three victims before? Three is a powerful number. It's a magic number. There's a divine number. balance to it in our universe anyway. But maybe it doesn't mean anything where the traveler is from. Maybe three is just the carry-on limit for interdimensional travel. I can't say this. I cannot say that. That's the police holdback. Somebody's going to let that slip, and if I say it now, it's going to ruin everything. <laughs> yeah. Do you know Zach Weston? No. I can do a reading if you want. Sure. Fine. Whatever. Nine of Cups. This is a very positive card. Is Zach a suspect? Something feels wrong. He's too smug, too self-congratulating, like he's got away with something. I don't like this, Sam. I don't like this one bit at all. I just noticed all of the cards are the paint. Yep. So there's Which... there's probably two reasons for that. One is that tarot decks are actually copyrighted. <laughs> and the second is to make it more unique for the game. I would imagine. I'd like a set of those, even if I don't do tarot. <laughs> I need your help with something. Yes, of course. Anything. Mm. 
I really want somebody to keep an eye on Violet. The chief says we don't have to worry about her, but I think we do. Okay. And yes, I do know that there's the promotional pictures have her pointing a gun at us. That's not the point. That's not why I'm asking for it. There, there's something weird going on with her. Remember, she also has a niece or something running around the, the guest house. Or yeah, there's like that little girl. Yeah. And we're not allowed to change into girls. It's absolutely for... Or, <laughs> sorry. Kids. That's absolutely forbidden. <laughs> well, children. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Keep an eye on Violet. Why Violet? Do you think she's in danger? You don't think she's involved, do you? No, but she is a redhead. Leave it with me. I'll see what I can find out. And don't worry. I'll be super discreet. All right. Not asking about that. Okay. <laughs> now we should change it to Violet and go visit. <laughs> You're only alive because we want you to be. What? Oh. It's not cool. Oh. Uh... Do we want to talk to the other lot first, or do we ne- do we need to go talk to Zach as Sam? Well, we've talked to Zach as Sam, but let's see if we can get more information. There doesn't seem to be anything weird about it. Yes, I met her at the radio Oops. station. Interesting. You've met both of the victims before they were killed. What the fuck? I was offering my services. Earning a living is tricky when you travel around as much as we do. And last time I checked, Violet wasn't offering us room and board for free. In Birmingham, it was a man called Yuri Harris. He worked as a butcher. He beheaded all three girls within hours of each other. Yeah, but this one's days. Or a day. Well, a day. He pleaded not guilty for reason of temporary insanity. Why do you think he was a traveler? I don't care what happened to him. Because he said he'd see us again. In August. Before we even knew it was a month and a place. Interesting. Alright, Lexi. So what's the news about Ellis? I feel so useless sitting here. I want to help. Do you really want to help? Yes, please use me. Tell me what to do. Oh, that's a loaded statement right there. Okay, I have a few options. She's not a redhead. We could send her to Zack. Okay. I don't know that that's necessarily a good idea. Zack seems like a creep. Yeah, but she's also super innocent and definitely won't fall for his sleaziness. Alright, I'll trust you on this one. Who's that? He's a photographer in town. Is he a suspect? I guess he must be. Okay, I'm on the case. Just give me a minute to get ready and I'll be off. So we can't speak to Zach now because she's a... No, we could, to- we could totally speak to Zach. Oh. Do we want to? Yeah, why wouldn't we? Bronwyn uh, did say he had something to hide. Yeah. Do we want to visit Bronwyn? The? There's that girl. Excellent work. Gold star for you. Ooh. Oh, hello. This is my goddaughter, Sophia. Goddaughter. She's only nine, and she's a maths genius. Hello. <laughs> I have to pop to my room to get something. Be nice to her while I'm gone. Otherwise, I might have to smother you in your sleep. So, I'm going to ask you this What's question. Your name? I'm going to ask you this question just before we continue, Space. Yeah. What do you notice about her? What do I notice about her? Yep. Uh... Nothing. It might be the lighting, but it looks like her hair is kind of red. Looks dark brown, uh, like a brown to me, or a blonde. Might be a chestnut. I'm just saying that if it is red, that's interesting. Are we the boogeyman? N- well, <laughs> technically yes. I kind of want to be. <laughs> I'm Sophia. Pleased to meet you. Do you want to know a secret? Of course, yes. I love secrets. Wilder was taken by aliens in their ship. Jeez. She doesn't want anyone to know. Sorry about that, Sophia. Your mother will be here for you soon, so run along and wait. 
<laughs> now, Sam, how can I help you? Tell me about You're the aliens. Abducted? <laughs> we teleported. Do you know Ellis Monroe? Yeah, of we'll course. Poe and Monroe. She's on the radio. <laughs> You're awfully It's a weird giggly. saying. What? Yes, I believe I did. She was here once for something. Don't remember now. Should we totally out Sophia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Why not? She has a wicked imagination for her age. <sighs> Is that why you're taking pills? <laughs> oh my god. I don't think we I was seeing and hearing things okay, that weren't yeah, there. So that's, that's, that's what I figured. That's, that's why probably why she I'm has. taking pills. Have you told anyone else about this? I needed to confide in someone, so I told Chief Dupont. Just Chief Dupont. And now you, apparently. Okay. Do you think you were abducted last night? Why are you talking about this again? You understand, every time you mention abduction, it opens up a vault of crushing memories that I'd rather stay locked up. Somebody's dead. Answer the fucking question. No. Not even the moon. What? No, that's not a good bluff, because the chief won't. Uh, but if we send the chief to ask her about it, that might be. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's now time to... Shift? Yeah. So we've got a couple of choices. We can talk to Violet as Chief Dupont. We can mm -hmm. talk to... Um... Uh, who was it? Uh, we could talk to Ellis as Oscar. Yeah, um, we, we could talk to... Zach as Zach? Ellis? Maybe. Okay. Alright. Well, next time on Character Select, we'll figure out who we're going to shift into and what we're going to do here. Um, and hopefully get some more answers, because it just seems like the more people we add to this, the more questions there are. Yes. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it in space. I'm super enjoying this. This is like a chill time, but fuck you, Ellis, for that fucking window knock. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, how about fuck you, Ellis, for cheating on poor Oscar over there with uh, Dorota. Dorota. Not cool. And not, not even cool. crying about it. Yeah, you're not even upset. <laughs>